Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm already sweaty, but that's because I'm filming multiple workouts one after the other. But anyway, this workout is going to be an arm workout. It's only going to be six minutes, so you can do it multiple times if you like, or you can increase the weight, but it's going to definitely get your arms going a little bit. Um, it's going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, six minutes, like I said. If you've got a weight, great, because some of the exercises we might use a kettlebell or a dumbbell, uh, but if you've got a bag, fill it with tins, whatever you like, do something that just makes it a little bit, so you've got a little bit of weight to push above your head. But if you don't have that, you won't need it because you can still work hard without it. So, let's get to it. Right, let's get going with this six minute workout. The first thing we're gonna do, a narrow press up. So keeping your arms in, nice and narrow, targeting those triceps, and driving up. Down, elbows tucked into your body. If you find that difficult, you can always go onto your knees. And if you can, challenge yourself to even alternate between all the way up and then knees down. If you can, try and stay up off your knees the whole time. And breathing. Elbows in. And rest. See, already, for me, my arms start burning immediately. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is a curl. If you've got the weights, great. If not, just try and really isolate your body and really do it slowly to try and really articulate the movement. But we're gonna be on our knees to stop swinging. We're gonna hold the kettlebell like so, and we're literally just gonna curl like this for 30 seconds. And the beauty of this workout is you've got 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, so you get a bit more rest. But here we go. Drag up and slowly. Just try and do this movement really slow to really work every single part of it. If you've got two dumbbells, use one in each hand. But if you've got a kettlebell, use it like so. It's kind of like a hammer curl, so my hands are facing up. Or my palms are facing towards each other, I should say. One more and rest, okay, 30 seconds. This is a workout that can be done multiple times. This is, you could do three sets of this if you just wanna do arms. If you wanna do different sections of your body, this is a great one to add in. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do are press ups, but nice and wide. It's gonna target a different area of our chest and also not as much in the triceps. It's mainly gonna be through our chest that we're working here. Okay, so you're gonna be out wide, maybe as wide as your mat, maybe a little bit wider. Up onto your toes and down, back up. And you'll feel that when you're out wider, it will feel different to how the narrow ones felt. Try and keep a steady pace, like I said. If you need to go down onto your knees, do so. And then keep working a straight line from the crown of your head all the way down to your heels. Keep breathing. One more. And rest. Okay, so the next one that we have is an overhead press. Kind of work, gonna work your shoulders as well, but you're gonna come up onto your knees and just press overhead from down in front of you all the way up. Again, if you don't have a weight, you can use a carton of milk, a drinks bowl, whatever it is, even the TV remote, but just getting your arms moving. If you've got a TV remote and you're not using much weight, you can go a little bit faster. It's still gonna get your arms and it's still gonna tone. Here we go, up above the head, down, with control. Try and keep the body nice and in line, so you're not leaning back to push up. You're staying in one straight line, and you're pressing. If you're using a kettlebell, or just one singular dumbbell, then the thing is, you're gonna feel it in your pet still, if you're pressing the weight together to go overhead. Make sure you're continuing to breathe, and one more for luck, and down. Okay, so the next one we are going to do are tricep dips. If you've got a chair, or if you don't have a chair, you can do them on the floor like this and do little mini ones. But if you've got a sofa or a chair, you can either do them with straight legs or bent legs. Do what is good for you. Challenge yourself. If you've done them on the floor before, move up onto a sofa 
Don't know bent legs, try it with straight legs. But let's go. I'm gonna go with straight legs, down, back up. Don't relax on the floor because it'll hurt your shoulders. Try and just tap the floor if you get that far. Just try and really articulate the movement because by the end of this, your arms are gonna be burning, especially your triceps. Lots of people always wanna work their biceps because it's what people see on the beach, you know, like the beach body. But actually, working your triceps are just as important. Oh, and rest. Woo! I hate working arms. There's just one part of your body that lots of people hate legs, but for me, I hate arms. Okay, so last one in this six minute workout, Spider-Man press-ups. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go from here, it's a slightly adapted version. So we're gonna, instead of just pressing up, um, you're gonna go slightly staggered hands and you're gonna press up and the elf of the hand that is closer to you, so you're gonna put that knee to it. So you're gonna go like this, up, change, other side. Change it round, go down. Change, down. Again, it's gonna work a different part of your chest, different parts of your arms, and also bringing in a little bit of core to it. I'll do a couple facing you, so like so, and then phew, changing round to the other side. and rest. Woo. And there we have it. That was da -da -da, a six minute arm workout, like I said before. Rewind back and do a couple more sets if you're just doing arms today. But if you've done some legs, you've done some abs, done some cardio, whatever you've been working, if it was just a little add-on, good job for adding it on. But in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you again very soon.